There aren't that many trig properties that you have to know, but there are a few and they are important. You have to know that cosecant is 1 over sine, that secant is 1 over cosine, and that cotangent is 1 over tan, or cosine over sine, if you will. You have to memorize that sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. These second two are not as important, mainly because you can get them from the original. If we have that sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1, by the way, this is from the Pythagorean theorem. If we have this, then what happens if you divide everything by sine squared? Well, sine squared divided by sine squared would be 1. Cosine squared divided by sine squared would be cotangent squared. And 1 divided by sine squared would be cosecant squared. So let's take a look back. Oh, look. Cosecant squared minus cotangent squared equals 1. Boom. We just got that. Or, if you divide everything by cosine squared, sine squared uh, over cosine squared is tangent squared. Cosine squared divided by cosine squared is 1. And 1 over cosine squared is secant squared. And likewise, we also have secant squared minus tan squared equals 1. So, all you have to do to get the other two is just divide by sine squared or cosine squared, depending on what you need. So, if you memorize sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1, the basic Pythagorean identity, then the other two follow. You do not have to memorize your addition of angles properties. However, they're good to know. Sometimes they'll be helpful. So, if you know them, you're better off. That's all there is to that.